Hi, I'm Alan Dexter from PC Gamer. Just watched the AMD keynote where Dr. Lisa Su introduced a lot of mobile things, a lot of a lot of hardware for laptops and some epic stuff as well, but that's of less interest to a, to the gaming audience. Although there were some nice shots from the Mandalorian, so we'll, we'll give them a bit of slack there. Um, Dr. Lisa Su introduced a couple of interesting things. Um, we always knew we were going to get some laptop processors um, and she introduced she mentioned a 5800u which um, uses the zen 3 architecture and should be very interesting the u indicating low power um, she also talked about the hs processors which are a replacement for the last generation hs processors we had the 4900 hs um, last year that did very well i looked at that myself in the um Zeus Zephyrus G14, which is a great laptop. A bit expensive, but a great laptop otherwise. There was a new brand name this year, though. And that was the HX brand name, which has a higher TDP than the HS chips. The, the HS chips are limited to 35 watts. HX chips go for a 45 watt plus, which means that if a manufacturer wants to push it a bit harder and have a higher performance from the get-go, they can which is interesting, should be good. Two chips were introduced, the 5900 HX, uh, which tops out at 4.6 gigahertz, and the 5980 HX, which tops out at 4.8 gigahertz. Both chips have eight cores and 16 threads, uh, 20 megabytes of L2 and L3 cache, and as I say, has the TDP of 45 watt plus. HX running Horizon Zero Dawn, um, it managed 100 frames a second at 1080p, uh, the point being that it shows that the GPU wasn't bottlenecked by the CPU, uh, something that can happen with gaming laptops. Uh, we don't know what the graphics card actually was for this demo, um, but it, that's kind of beside the point. Lisa Su did go on to say that actually at 4K, the CPU wasn't holding the GPU back either, so that's the important point, that we now have a gaming laptop CPU that is as you know, up to speed as a desktop CPU, which is really good news. Um, we'll have to see what sort of systems these chips are used in, but it's quite hopeful that if you're looking to buy a gaming laptop in the next year, that um, you may have much better choice than you will have had until now.